Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, Long Time No See. Today I'll be showing you how to make this Chanel wall decor using flowers from your local dollar store and also material from your local dollar store or things you even have in your home. So stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, and here we go. So let's begin. First, we're going to start off with, um, you're going to need a glue gun. Also going to need some glue sticks. Um, you're going to need the design that you're going to use for this. And for this, it's going to be the Chanel C's. Also, you're going to need some flowers. I used 10 bunches. And some scissors. And I found the X-Acto knife worked a little bit better. And you're going to see later on why. And something to sketch all your design on, on the cardboard. And last but not least, some tape. And we're going to need the cardboard or the oak tag board from the dollar store. So first we're going to start off by cutting out our design. And also feel free to sketch out your design on the cardboard if you feel like you can freehand a design as well. Whatever works best for you. But I just decided to print it out just for more of an accurate shape and sizing of my design. So now we're going to take that design and put the pieces together. We're going to use masking tape because masking tape is a little bit more generous on paper. And what I mean by that is, say you make a mistake and you want to peel it back off, it won't rip off the whole design with it. It kind of, you know, comes off nice and easy. So masking tape will be a better option for this. And we're just going to, you know, cut around the edges and make sure everything is nice and neat. So when we trace it, we have a good foundation. So now that we have our design, we're going to line it up on the cardboard and just make sure everything is nice and flush. And then we're going to take the masking tape and place it on the back of the design just so we can have a nice, you know, stable design to trace. Um, you don't want the design to move around too much because then when you trace it, it won't be as accurate as you want it to be. But then again, if you're freehanding, feel free to, you know, get the design as you like. So now I'm just tracing it all around making sure it's nice and accurate and we're gonna cut it out as soon as we're done with that so for this part this is why I chose the exacto knife over the scissors because it cuts way more better and it's more accurate um, if you can't find this knife I found this knife actually at the dollar store it was such a perfect option um, if you know Michaels, they sell X-Acto knives. This is a cheaper alternative. It does the same exact thing and it comes with six different blades, which is awesome. But if you can't find that either, you can also just use a box cutter. Um, I recommend any type of blade because it just comes out cleaner with a, you know, sharp corners and it comes out way better. So just continue to cut out your design and we're going to apply the flowers. This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 So now we're just going to gather all our flowers and we're going to peel or pick the flowers off the stems. We're not really going to use the stems, so you could just discard them afterwards. But you're going to choose the colors you like. I chose lights and darks just to give it a different dimension. It's not all one color. Um, I purchased this one thinking I was going to use the, you know, add some stems. But I loved it without it. So you don't have to get that. I just chose it to switch it up. But I didn't end up liking it anyway. So we're just going to take the flowers. And I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what color combinations I want to do. And do I want a bunch of other colors together? Do I want to mix it up? So I chose to just alternate the colors a bit and just you know whatever looked right i kind of just did so go with your eye go with your judgment is however you want to make it and we're just going to glue it down to the cardboard 
and just go for it have fun Also, I'm just making sure that I'm gluing the little plastic bottoms just so it's nice and secure and it doesn't fall off. Later on, we're going to actually glue some of the petals together just to define the shape, but we'll get to that a little bit later. just gonna open up the design more and what I mean by that is we're gonna open up the middle C part just so you can see the shapes of the C so we're just gonna add a little hot glue gun on the actual petals squeeze it together just to bring in the design just a bit more to clean everything up but you still want it to look nice and fluffy and floral and you see how I alternate colors so give it a really nice look to it but like I said do how you whatever you feel and whatever looks nice to you so for me, I can't put holes in my wall, so I'm going to create a bougie little setup <laughs> so I can hang it on my wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some old twine cord that I had in my little craft box. And I'm going to make a little hook for it because I have command hooks on my wall, which you can peel off without actually making holes. So I'm going to add that to the back just so I can hang it on my wall. And to be honest, feel free to alter this design because it looks pretty dope like this as well. So if you feel like you want to switch something around or reverse it or turn it backwards and add more flowers, feel free to do anything you want. Let me see, tag me, and we'll see how it goes. For anybody that was wondering, it was actually pretty strong. When you add that extra glue, hot glue on top, it really keeps it in place and I could pull it and snag it without it actually falling off. So it was actually pretty secure. And that's it. Here we have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I haven't been on YouTube for so long. But I'll try to make new videos for you guys, a lot of DIYs, fashion, all of that good stuff. So like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. They really fucked up when I found out my worth. I just leveled up and I doubled my worth. I bake on my bank and I'm back in my burg. I'm back in my woo. I bake on my bank and I'm back in my burg. I bake on my bank and I'm back on the work.